Good morning once again, followers of JCTV Africa. Sorry I had to do this video in the car. The reason being that my internet uh, was a little bit slow. So I only realized after I had finished the broadcast that the video quality was not up to standard. We want to keep and maintain good standard on the channel. I was doing an analysis on the, the trio. So these three, they are being accused of faking an abduction and trying to uh to make the state look bad what was reported by the herald is that the reason why they are they are saying that they fake the abduction is the fact that they their twitter and their social media handles were still active even in the time when they were saying that they were now abducted and i'm going to tell you why i believe that this is just a propaganda the first is, when one is abducted, when you are abducted, it's different from when you are arrested. When you are abducted, the people that have abducted you, they, one, you don't know them. Number two, sometimes you cannot see their faces. They can be beating you and you can't even know who is the person that was beating you. Maybe you can recognize the voice, but you can't tell who is the person. And they always send people that you don't know. This is number one. Number two, when you are abducted, you are at the mercy of your captors. We have seen this in many places. Look at what they did to uh, when Boko Haram released the videos of Chibok girls. They were wearing uh, the hijabs and they were forced to recite the Quran. And there was now being said that this is what your abductor does. They can make you record a video. You can give them your password because you are at their mercy. And if they are armed, they will threaten you with the death and you say, please don't kill me. I'll give you your password. My life is more important than my phone. If, if that is the only evidence that they can produce. I saw that lousy documentary that was done on ZBC. It was the timestamps that they produced were totally different. And they were the one that did a, a documentary. I mean, this is in the modern day technology we can pick up these things back then when they did the documentary about morgan Changirai trying to plot against ari ben menashe you remember in 2002 ari ben menashe came and said that he was approached by morgan Changirai, and this is what uh the then court found that ari ben menashe was paid six hundred thousand dollars by the zimbabwean government prior to him meeting Changirai. So if that had happened, that's why Shangri was then acquitted. Because after finding out that the Zimbabwean government had paid Ari Ben Menashe for him to lie, that he was uh, plotting to eliminate uh, Robert Mugabe, it was a lie. So this is the government that also, that also did the 2008 elections. You remember, they refused to admit that they have been beaten in the elections. And you remember the famous statement by Robert Mugabe that Ziroto Ziroto and the saying that Nika end in a pen. So it shows you that that denialism that they have, it's inherent in ZANPF. It's inherent in the government of ZANPF. And they cannot admit anything that they would have done. Up to now, nobody's admitting uh that Itai Zamara was killed, was abducted, and was killed. They actually released a lousy documentary saying that no, Itai Zamara is in a foreign land, this and that. You understand? So, they will never uh, admit to anything. Many things that have been done that they have never admitted. The Muramba China, they said no, it was just a few people who were trying to correct uh, the illegal uh, structures that were in 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 uh, in Arare and other towns, but the truth of the matter is they just wanted to displace people who were in the towns because they were voting against them, so that they wanted the number to be depleted. So that is what uh, they do. Remember, in 2020, they arrested Wopo Shingono on a charge that doesn't exist, using a law that doesn't exist. Up to now, there is not even a clear charge. On what Hopo Chimono is being charged for. So 
having lied, having having a pattern of lying, we cannot believe that they are telling the truth when they are saying to us that uh, this tri the the trio are uh, faked an abduction. If they cannot produce enough evidence to show us that these people were communicating with people and they are voice recording of them talking to people, because if they have all the apparatus at their disposal to have had these people communicate because one cannot be on Twitter and after being on Twitter they cannot communicate with their phones to somebody right uh, verbally so that is that is that is the reason why it is very difficult for you to trust and for this case to be uh, to be called that these people are lying or they faked an abduction. And talking of abductions, let's look at the history, um, the lie that have been told for so many years about the U.S. Embassy and everything, to say that they are the ones that are sponsoring these abductions so that they can give these people money and destabilize the country. The question is, if USA is so much interested in making sure they destabilize Zimbabwe, and if they are so sold out to the regime change agenda if they want to put a regime change agenda look at what happened in libya in a in a space of less than eight months the the government was changed why because they were interested in syria afghanistan iraq all these places where they where they go if they're interested in your country they will come and change look at what is happening even in ukraine when they wanted to change the government if when they wanted that, they did it. They did it. They did a coup. And many African leaders were toppled by coups. You remember the likes of uh, Laurent Kabila was, 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 was killed. So if the American are so, Americans are so invested in Zimbabwe and they want the government of the day to change, they don't need to play these antics of hiring opposition to uh, to, 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 to do ab fake abductions. That is, that is not them. They will do everything in their power to make sure that they, 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 they get into the country and change that government. So for us to be told that they are on a regime change agenda, it is a lie. And it is a way of just trying to, to make propaganda look nice to say Americans they hate us Americans they hate us I'm not saying that they love us but I'm saying to lie and say that they are the ones that are sponsoring their fake abduction yet you are the one who have done it it is totally unacceptable so thank you so much tell me what you think in the comment section knowing our government from Ari Ben Menashe Itai Zamara Opo Chungono 2008 elections and now this so this shows you that these people are willing to lie and lie and lie until they are caught so i hope that this video makes sense to you and if you want to support us so that we can be bringing quality good analysis to you guys please uh get in touch and you can uh profile your support to the channel so that we can grow together we really want to be making a big fruit footprint in 2023. So please uh, get in touch with us and we can see what we can do together. I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.